What's going on guys? My name is Cameron. Welcome back to the channel. This video is so far late that I'm almost embarrassed to release it now, but we're going to because I promised it. Uh, the reason why it is so late is because all of the out of car footage is corrupt and I was unable to get it from those who were filming it for me, which is a huge bummer, but I still have all the in-car footage and yeah, I guess we're going to talk about it today. Um, so what happened is I ran autocross for the East Idaho SCCA and this was my first time ever racing. I've never been to a racing event. I've never gone drag racing. I've never done road course or anything. This is it. This is the first race that I've ever been in. And if you guys don't know, I drive a 2004 V6 automatic Mustang. It looks like that. car makes about 190 horsepower. It is not the fastest thing in the world, but it has fully built suspension, coilovers, uh, lower control arms. I have connecting rods, uh, strut braces, and stiffeners going to both, the or both sides of the car. So it handles really well for what it is. Uh, when I first arrived at the event, there was one other car. You're supposed to get there from 7 to 8 a.m and this is where the time you register you get your car tacked in and all this kind of stuff the only other car there was a c5 full-blown race car got a little nervous there and then soon no surprise a miata showed up so it was me a full-blown race car and a miata we sitting there for about an hour we were the first ones there people started slowly trickling in we had a decent turnout we had a hellcat a camaro ss a bmw audi a few BMWs, but I was racing in the novice class. This was the first time. There's about five people in there, including a built Firebird that was also running in the Cam C class, uh, BMW, and a Honda Civic. And there's one other guy. There was five of us, but it was me and those five other guys. And so we are going to go to the first clip here from the in-car footage. It is a slow clip. I ran a 57 and. It's slow because we were still learning the track, first time out, still early in the morning, nothing too crazy. I am riding with the owner of a 2015 5.0 track pack to help him learn the track, and so here's the first one. Okay, we're good to start. Now the second clip here is me out by myself. I started to get it. I knew where I was supposed to go on the track, but I was starting to get a feel for it really. It's still slow. We were able to chop about 15 seconds off the time with that passenger. My driver's seat sits so far back that I couldn't see around him, couldn't see where I was going on my right turns. So it really slowed my time down. This one was in the 48. No, it wasn't 15 seconds. It was like 10 seconds, 47 second range. So it was decent. It was all right, but nothing too crazy. Watch this one. See how it goes.
Okay, so on the third one is still early morning. I am trying to get a feel for it here. I'm starting to get a feel for the track. I know where I'm going for sure. And my times are really starting to pick up. I'm starting to get consistent 47 second passes, which is enough to put me in second place in my class. Um, there's the only guy in front of me, I believe, was the BMW at the time. And the Firebird was not far behind. After this pass, the Firebird passed me up to put me into third. And it he ran a 46 second pass, so that was a bummer. But what do you do? This fourth one is the last run of the morning session. I stayed in the 47 second range. It was starting to feel good. The car was good. Nothing too crazy happened during this, but enjoy it. Oh yeah, you're at four, huh? You're done? Yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and park back there now. During this section here, we broke for lunch. After before that, we switched. So my group was flaggers, and then the other group was driving. We had to watch for them hitting cones, off tracks, and that kind of stuff. We had to guide them around and basically just do what they did. You could see a bunch of people standing out on the track when I was doing my passes. So we did that, we broke for lunch. We came back right around one o'clock which is perfect timing. The sun was starting to come up, the track was getting a little warmer, starting to get a little slick now, since the tires were heating up. But on this first run, we had my brother's girlfriend riding with us, and this turned out to be the best run thus far. I was able to chop two seconds off. I ran a 45 second pass. It wasn't flat, I believe it was a 45.7 or something like that. It was pretty crazy. It was pretty slick, got sideways, so enjoy it. And I'll be right back. Ready? Ready.
as I started recording you saying that. <laughs> okay, for this run, it wasn't anything spectacular. It was a 46 second pass. It was starting to get really slick as you can see me going into the left hand sweeper. For this one, I just really want you to listen to the conversation between the starter and I. It was funny, to say the least. Enjoy this one. For the final run here, I was able to break down into 45 seconds again for the 45-3, which would put me into first place for the first place for the class, and no one was able to beat it after that. So enjoy this. This is the last one, best run of the day. guys hope you enjoyed the video my name is Cameron thank you all for watching be sure to like subscribe and comment it really helps me out on what you guys want to see in the future thanks again I hope you all have a great rest of the day see you in the next one